Hello, everyone. It's time to talk about the Hard Catch Fairies. So let's get on with it by talking about the main mascot of the season and the fairy partner of the main leader, Cherry Blossom, Shaipri. So let's begin. <laughs> Shaipri is one of the mascots in Hard Catch Pretty Cure. She is living with her partner, Tsubomi Hanazaki, and can help Tsubomi transform into Cure Blossom. She, Coffred, and Propri can transform into flight capes, allowing their partners to fly. She ends her sentences with Detsu. Shaipri comes from the seventh season of Pretty Cure, Hard Catch Pretty Cure. She made her debut in the series in episode 1 of Heart Catch and comes from the Tree of Hearts. Her role in the series is being the main mascot and fairy partner to Tsubomi Hanazaki. Her theme color is pink. Shaipri is voiced by Teiko Kawada, who outside of Pretty Cure you may know for these roles as Amy Rose's Japanese voice actress of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, which she is best known for. She voiced Momoko Momohara, Mei Sayama in Sailor Moon R, and Invisible Baby Shizuka Joestar in JoJo's Bizarre Adventures Diamond is Unbreakable. Sharpie resembles Kofet, being a white fairy with heart shaped ears that have a cyan heart marking to match her bangs, tail and markings on her dark brown eyes. She wears a fuchsia bow with a pink gem star. Her neck has a frilly fuchsia piece held by a silver heart. Shaipri is honest and speaks what is on her mind. She cares about Tsubomi deeply, as well as others, and often worries. Shaipri is not that fond of Tsubomi after she is easily defeated, but after she proved to be able to fight when she sets her mind into it, Shaipri puts all her trust into her and often acts like a big sister to Tsubomi. Shaipri's relationship with her fellow fairy seems to be friendly, as they never argue and always are seen together when not with their human partners. They often share opinions. Kofet was once jealous of Shaipri being treated well by Tizubomi, unlike his partner. They will usually seen together whenever Tizubomi and Erika can't be with them. Shaipri and Kofet are like a big sister and brother to Popori, and always point out their mistakes when needed. Shaipri, like Kofet and many other fairies, admire Cope and call him by the name Cope Sama, to show him respect. They usually hide in his pou body pouch when a human appears in the botanical gardens at the same time they are there. She and Kofret have a great deal of respect for him, calling him by the honorific of Senpai. When they talk about him, she was heartbroken when she he died. Shaipri gets her name from a type of perfume of the same name, the Shaipri perfume, created by Francois Cody in 1970. Shaipri is originally the French word for the island Cyprus, and the perfume is so named due to the Mediterranean origin of its ingredients. Shaipri running to Kibo Ogohana. Along with Kofret, Shaipri is present when the Tree of Hearts wilts, as they both hide behind the tree while Cure Moonlight tries to defeat Dark Preacher. When they witness Cure Moonlight's defeat, they are ordered to escape and look for Cure Moonlight's replacement, while keeping the heart perfume safe. Hearing this, they fly off to look for the new Pretty Cure.
Eventually, the fairies come to Kibo Ogohana, where they go looking for Cure Flower, but instead crash into Tsubomi Hanazaki, Cure Flower's granddaughter. However, they must hide from Sasarina, who has been ordered by Sabaku to hunt them down and take the harp perfumes. When they try to help Tsubomi reclaim Erika Kurumi's stolen harp flower, Shibri gets a reaction from the harp perfume she is holding and gives it to Tsubomi. When she proves herself to have gathered the courage and will do and they need to protect Erika and the fairies. Together with Kofret, they guide her through the transformation into Cure Blossom. After Cure Blossom fails to defeat the Zestarian, they are all saved by a mysterious man and brought to Karo Ko's flower garden, where Shipri and Kofret sleep inside Cope's fur. When they later realize that Karo Ko used to be Cure Flower and that Cope is present, they hug Cope in admiration, shocking to Zabomi. However, the Dysterian and Sasarina find them, and Stripey must ask to Zabomi to transform into Cure Blossom once again, despite her failure from earlier. In the end, she and Kofret are able to guide her through the battle and purification of the Dysterian, and as Erika leaves, Stripey bears the heart seed that was created when Cure Blossom purified Erika's heart flower. Living with Tsubomi Since Shibri is the only one who can summon Tsubomi's pretty cure heart seed, she starts living with her, pretending to be a toy whenever Tsubomi's parents find her, although Kofred originally lived with them too. He later moves into Erika's room when she becomes the second cure. However, Shibri often worries about Tsubomi's self-confidence, and most of the time gives her advice when she is feeling down, or is simply there to be by her side. Shepri in the final battle and regrowing the Tree of Hearts After Dune arrived and kidnapped Tuzubomi's grandmother, which causes the earth to become a desert, the cures and fairies, including Shepri, go to the castle planet, Dune's fortress, to find Tuzubomi's grandmother in order to defeat Dune and restore the earth. After infiltrating the castle planet, Tsubomi and Shaipi are able to free Karako, and the two head off to aid Moonlight. There, Tsubomi and Shaipi distract Professor Sabaku, but learn that he is Yuri's father. After Sabaku is destroyed, Shaipi watches Yuri and Tsubomi trying to defeat Dune, who morphs into his true form. After Dune's defeat, the fairies reunite with the cures, informing them that the Tree of Hearts is growing well. Although some fairies don't have much of a range of known abilities, which can be considered important or useful, the Heartcatch fairies do have a useful power to lend to their partners that doesn't mean only summoning the Heartseed. Shipri, like Potpourri and Kofret, can transform into capes, allowing for their respective cures to fly. Fact 1, Shibri is the first female mascot fairy who is bonded to the lead cure. The three previous lead cures had been bonded with a male mascot fairy. Fact 2, she seems to be fairly durable as a flight cape, as Cure Blossom was able to use her as a shield against energy blast from Dune and successfully deflected the attack. Fact 3, Shaipri also shares her voice actress Teika Kawada with some minor characters in different series and movies of Pretty Cure, which are Nozomi, the little girl, from Pretoria Wa Pretty Cure Max Heart, episode 36, Princess Philia, a supporting character from Pretoria Wa Pretty Cure Splash Star, Chakola, a character from Yes Pretty Cure 5 Go Go movie, Happy Birthday in the Land of Sweets, and Marquis, a mascot from Fatari Wa Pretty Cure Max Heart, the movie. And that is all about Shipri. Next time, we're going to talk about Kofret, the second mascot fairy and fairy partner of Erika Kurumi, who helps her transform into Care Marine. So, see you next time.